a very good evening to everyone on behalf of sol foundation i extend a warm welcome to everyone attending today's journey to safety webinar series on the subject effect of rainy season on roads and ensuring safety let me begin today's session by providing a quick overview of indian road safety campaign after which i'll turn the session over to mr dhirendra samiani i request all the participants to push the, put their question in the chat box which will be taken at the end Indian Road Safety Campaign is an initiative of Sol Foundation working towards making the roads safer in India. It started as a project at IIT Delhi due to the death of students in a road accident. IRSC has gradually grown to be the largest youth led organization in India. IRSC has been working in close association with organizations such as UN WHO Ministry of Road Transport and Highways various state governments and other research centers across the world in its endeavor towards resilience. to achieve this irsc has worked with over 1500 colleges and 25000 volunteers across 50 plus cities in india in various domains such as awareness technical innovation law order policy medical etc indian road safety campaign has launched the journey to road safety webinar series to bring all the stakeholders of road safety in one platform where we try to spread awareness about the importance of importance of road safety and the protocols that one needs to ensure Now allow me to introduce Dhirendra Samineni. He has 30 plus years of experience in automobile sector, including training professional with 16 years of diverse experiences spanning more than 150 plus corporations, government sector, industries, factories, and NGOs. His geographical experiences covers India, UAE, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, etc. As a result, has a strong appreciation of multicultural environments. Coming to his qualifications. He has an honorary doctorate PhD in human rights and peace from Brazil and had done see road safety engineering from England. He has certification of level 2 trainer by HE Austria and has received president's award by former president late Gaini uh, Gaini Zail Singh at Rashtrapati Bhavan New Delhi. Talking about his experiences in road safety, he has done number of road safety trainings, route or journey risk assessments, traffic management, train the trainer programs. traffic crash in investigations vehicle assessment road shows and events driver screen test and number of webinars etc let me now turn the session over to mr dhirendra without any further delay over to you sir right uh, good evening everyone and i uh, thank you for giving the opportunity uh 30 participants right just let me share this screen i huh? am audible yes sir you are right once again i thank everyone for giving the opportunity and uh, today evening uh, so today we are going for a effects of rainy season and uh, on roads and ensuring safety how safe we can be as a pedestrian also as well as uh, two wheeler as well as four wheeler so i know some experts also uh, joined the program uh, so it's a learning and refreshing for each and everyone and anything any questions we can uh, you can interrupt me in between also and session will go up to i think uh, 40 minutes around and then we can have 15 to 20 minutes for uh, questionnaire uh, right and uh, my roughly experience is 30 years automobile and uh, last 15 years i am into road safety and looking into the fact after uh, lockdown the number of incidents or it's raising day by day and uh, recent especially during uh, rainy season so let's uh, uh, try to overcome how best way we can use the road right so driving or riding in monsoon by two wheeler four wheeler or pedestrians less understand how uh, during rainy season the road appears Thank you. 
so likewise incidents happen every day every minute every you know the data 400 people every day every one hour 17 deaths are there and now monsoon season uh, it's a mixture of all uh, different type of uh, causes are there on road uh, assessment so now let's have a case study then we'll go for step by step what are the things we need to do and how to best way we can overcome now please observe this video as a case study a two wheeler warning video this is warning video can anyone just to interrupt and uh, who is at a fault just one small mic on and then again off who is at a fault here i think it's the environmental condition sir a pardon okay it's the, it's so the condition here two road users are there one is bus and one is uh, two wheeler and even infrastructure you can un okay let yes, me sir, the infrastructure is the problem infrastructure but ultimately as a rider or a driver we need to look into infrastructure we can't change the best way we need to change ourselves so ultimately i agree with that one potholes and this thing so that's why what defensive driving and again the safe driving techniques will teach us to even on a uh, bad infrastructure how best way we can utilize our road conditions so let's uh, begin with once again and just i'll make a pause now here right now what exactly happened i say now in a two wheeler husband wife they are traveling and she is holding umbrella and that too at the edge of the road and this is the during rainy season right now now uh, then again bus is moving from right side now literally when we drive two wheeler when we drive here in between you can see my video also uh, so when we are driving now behind one bus is approaching when behind one bus is approaching either he would have gone reach it to the divider side either he would have allowed this bus to move forward so because the space if you see the infrastructure just now you said the portal is there. the portal is not visible because of the water log area now the best part wherever visibility my safety is there yeah, he has to go but he had not gone so by doing this way then there was a portal he had fallen either he has to move or given way that is one part next the practically the heavy vehicle when he is traveling when he is observe the other vehicles everyone they want to gain space so for which maybe honking or just moving let him move so the give way culture is not there so the bus is also started moving further then the two wheeler he thought literally what we think there is a large bus i cannot move me nahi ja sakta hu i am mixing up the languages because i think uh, everyone can so again the due to that one then literally he came to the left side of the road where portal is there he could not observe and ultimately this is the result so the learning here another point is whenever we are going on a rainy season we need to have a certain ppe personal protective equipment like rain coat anyway helmet that so you will be having and the wind shutter and again shoes certain things we need to carry so this umbrella these things the balancing won't be there as well as the road infrastructure will not help out so what i want to say is road infrastructure is bad at most of the places especially during rainy season and uh, this rainy or a monsoon season so the best part is we need to change ourselves we cannot change the certain things so you need to change yourself because it's in my hand this is not in my hands the simple right next so what is rain actually what is rain rain the rain when uh, before rain actually uh, before rain the mud grease oil everything accumulated on the road sab kuch road mein jama ho gaya when rain started like this when rain started like this it is getting accumulated then finally skidding will take place the first 10 15 minutes is the very crucial part where we can protect ourselves and especially those who don't have roofs like uh, 
pedestrians, the persons who are without helmet, what they'll do? First 10 15 minutes. Even when I'm a pedestrian, also, I'll run here and there because the, I saw the rain started. People rush here and there. The first 10 15 minutes, then skidding will happen. People move here and there. So these are these. So here, again, we have challenges like uh, portals. We have, uh, again, uh, so we, we may enjoy, but uh, in traffic, in, in terms of traffic, it's a very dangerous and very uh, crucial part and incidents happen. Let's see. Then rain, complete. The problem is only 10 15 minutes. Second. The problem when you see is only 10 to 15 initial part when there is a mixture. But later on, okay, road is really clear, fantastic. But again, we say not to drive on a painted mark. If you drive on a painted mark, again, skidding will take place. Certain things, again, the visibility will decrease. There are a number of things. Then waterlog area, this all we'll see on the next slides, right? Then, now what we are going to learn today. Today, we are going to learn, make understand about the waterlogging area. The traffic jumps mostly. Highway routes are fantastic. Even uh, now on uh, national highway, maybe Asian highway network or whatever. City roads are like that only. Very rarely it is developing. And especially during rainy season is the completely getting into the worst and worst conditions. Maybe uh, what are these uh, portals and again, then again. So this is waterlog area. There's a step-by-step -step I'm showing you so that the picture is, you can understand. Then again, portals and vehicle stoppages, maybe the correct method of driving onto the waterlog area and the releasing of accelerator in between. Then again, you know the exhaust, uh, through exhaust water may enter, then vehicle get jumped and again, how to apply brake. These are the things, the challenges what we face on. To that one and water uh, uh, portals uh, 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 not visible also comparing to this one in rainy season and these are the damaged roads so most of us uh, 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 very intelligent authorities or a government i can say after rainy season they do whatever road works and certain things so that temporary measurements has to take they have to take before the road uh, before rainy season so likewise portals are happening and uh, this everywhere. Then again, challenging is the fogging, the completely visibility decrease and the main major ch challenge is fogging time and during night and mixture with the rainy. So fogging also. Then again, water splashing. Water splashing mostly you'll find near the edge of the road or on the roundabout where because our roads are crowned shape, most of the roads as uh, civil engineering can understand very clearly. Why they kept it around? Because uh, when rains uh, uh, heavy rain, the water should not be stagnant on to the road. So the, again, splashing happens. So where to dive? How to? So once we start understanding all these uh, dangerous areas or whatever the during rainy season, we can have a best driving about us, right? Then again, I said rainy and night. The mixture of rain and night is a very very challenging. Okay, rain driving is okay. Other sometimes complete night driving is also okay. And uh, mixture of uh, night and rain is a, another biggest challenge. Had anyone faced uh, uh, before uh, moving uh, forward? I want to understand anyone uh, faced any problem during rainy season? Initially, when I was before joining uh, uh, road safety, when I was not aware of uh, that much on uh, defensive driving skills. I faced certain problems. I used to get phobia, fear, fear when I saw some waterlog area, how to go or come. Likewise, anyone faced like that? Anyone? Let's have interaction. I think everyone is muted. Eh? Yeah, I have allowed. Okay, hello. Anyone faced so that uh, uh, I'll try to cover whether you have, uh, we have covered all the subjects or not. Anyone want to know any specific thing during uh, rainy season? Specific thing, certain. Otherwise, coming out of waterlog area or something. Okay. So let me move on. Right. Okay. Now another problem we face that is inadequate vision. 
especially then uh, ac is on or off or uh, then wipers are not working or our uh, helmet uh, visors are not working mm, I, not in a correct position so whatever so let's so this all we are going to cover all these things what i am showing is the just a preview of the session so now what to do now what to do with all these elements what we are facing on rainy season that is at least the tips we will see in the further slides okay then first of all we need to have some first aid kit i am going in a step by step the best part what we can do the reason being some uh, during rainy season some they go for a long journey some well, maybe short journey whatever it is so uh, to overcome all this then again we uh, those who have pp or asthma patient or whatever so let we uh, have specific tablets with you and all the kit which is again uh, no expiry nothing everything we need to check i think every one year or two years uh, we need to change certain things in case expiry naturally we need to change immediately so complete first aid kit has to be there whatever sometimes with manufacturing you may get a very two three uh, ointments or some bandages but better to keep it is available right first aid kits then again again uh, window panes uh, in car especially because when water so that you can open the glass in little bit where you want to see the visibility or uh, fogging to avoid certain things and again maintenance of the vehicle just before the monsoon and maintenance of the vehicle in the sense everything in a condition now need not to worry like a olden days olden days there is a chain problem this problem so many problem vehicle problems are there now there is no that much vehicle problem timely servicing if you give that is sufficient but still and during lockdown what i observed people are not using their vehicles during lockdown and immediately they are started using the vehicle so before uh, because it it is idle maybe you are used to, before the lockdown maybe 10 kilometers or 20 kilometer but still it is idle better go for a good servicing and uh, because uh, for monsoon season we need to have all this thing and uh, for any long journey also we need to have and uh, battery you all know now we have two type of battery that is a maintenance and maintenance free so what we keep in uh, like a uh, distilled water and that to below the cap and maintenance free naturally need not to not to pour any uh, distilled water then again create ice ice means in case of emergency now most of the phones are locked in case of emergency someone want to make a call and we uh, it is locked then how i can uh, connect to your family members or anyone in case of emergency so otherwise you can have in a pocket your emergency number something lamination like children we are giving when they are going to schools or that thing so then again never drink and drive so recently one of the incidents are happening uh, drink and uh, drink and drive in uh, hyderabad uh, like uh, he was in a speed and that too on a rainy season so road is completely on a uh, thin film layer of water onto the road and hitting on auto and straight away so again uh, so certain other first of all the rain driving itself is a big challenging and we need to prepare when you want to a good driving or a riding onto the road so remember your life is important your life is very precious we may be replaceable in office or so uh, wherever but we are not replaceable at home father day father is not replaced mother day mother is not replaced in office okay manager another manager will come clerical another clerk will come so the replacement so that value we need to create before hitting on road these are the safety equipment in car specially they can keep that is a now uh, others they can mute i think okay right emergency hammer just i'm showing you demo this is the emergency hammer a pointed portion you can break the glass and i will show you the complete video the actual how to break a glass when your vehicle submerged in water right before submerge we need to do this is a pointer portion otherwise you can see my simulator and there is a again headrest you can utilize this headrest also as a to break the glass otherwise one uh, uh, below the emergency hammer you can see one uh, pointed portion just to keep on to the mirror then uh, glass and everything it will break in a second soft time 
then keep the nylon rope nylon rope reason being okay olden days uh, now sometimes vehicle will not start so when we will not start we need to tow the vehicle for towing keep a these are the kit unit and whenever towing a vehicle the rule says as per motor vehicle act uh, at the end of the second vehicle you should have in a square on tow white background black letters aerial font on tow should be written so that we can uh tell the rear traffic this vehicle is on tow and you know to put four indicator the people they go okay that is a hazard that is different while moving on tow you need to keep and your speed should not be beyond 25 km this is the as per mvi act and we have discussed about the first aid kit the proper first aid kit and it should be nylon rope also better to have that one even uh, two wheelers also better to keep right in case of you cannot sometimes uh, uh, may not be available uh, certain remote places and this area okay then why i am showing all these things so you will understand in the next slides always try to keep on uh, dry fruits or some biscuits chocolates umbrella whistle like this whistle and again water bottle again torch light this all right so some people they say i have a mobile i uh, no torch light not required sometimes now all electronic and the gadgets i don't know what thing may happen and what reaction may happen so better to keep torch means torch let us go not deeply into the technology don't rely on completely on technology and all these items uh, need to keep better to keep and why dry food and this thing all thing in case of your vehicle got in a water log area or a uh, struck up in a water so sometimes it may be for 5 uh, hours 10 hours 12 hours also it happened 12 hours also people got struck up into the water so these are the things and the best part is this one adequate wiper wiper you need to change every 6 months or so if it is not working the best another part is suppose you are not using your vehicle for long time agar apna gaadi jyada de tak ज्यादा महीना तक काम नहीं करना मींस यू आर नॉट यूजिंग इट इंस्टेड ऑफ हियर यू कैन कीप इन अ स्टैंडिंग पोस्चर सो दैट द प्रेशर विल नॉट बी ऑन टू द रबर राइट एंड एंश्योर द बिफोर यूजिंग वाइपर एंश्योर देयर इज नो स्मॉल स्टोन्स और एनीथिंग सो दैट योर विंडस्क्रीन इज वेरी क्लियर एंड अगेन द टायर कंडीशन विल गो इन डिटेल द अबाउट टायर कंडीशन एडिक्वेट लाइटनिंग सिस्टम in back side as well as your stop light your headlight and again the same hammer umbrella this everything one rain coat also better to keep that one and two wheeler those who are having uh, uh, active or those who are driving with the do or like this vehicle you can just purchase one jacket and just keep it in even in summer in case you there is a rain you can protect yourself so okay you have certain facility there is a dicky or there is a, some space is there utilize that one you keep now now it i think 300 400 rupees one rain coat is all so i saw when rains are there even all uh, most of the people they stand underneath the bridge they stand under the tree electrical pole pole that is not guarantee any time it may fall you have seen number of cases so uh, better to keep certain rain coats at least rainy season keep it in a bag keep it in a bag even bike bikers now tires the tire is the important part of the connection between yourself your equipment and to the mother earth the tire touching to mother earth is only here so how you are controlling the vehicle the same the so the grip so it is the equipment using on a road environment is very much important so here the proper again inflation has to be there now you can see on uh, my top side left side of the photo there is a low air pressure and high air pressure so low air pressure what happens so low air pressure that side side bone and high air pressure naturally mid there will be a, a wearing will happen and the correct psi so per square inch okay correct psi you need to keep okay in in car people if you are in driver seat uh, right side you will find a air pressure okay i am a seven seater this much okay 35 uh, 32 or 28 okay if you are using as a five seater 
okay 35 or 32 in that side you will find so likewise different uh, manufacturing different vehicles they have in a manual certain front wheel and the rear wheel how much psi the correct air pressure has to be there check that one air pressure is the one most of, again uh, we check the air pressure they are very uh, casual about air pressure right the way where about now about the tires roughly because uh, again uh, rainy you should understand about the tire every four years five years they need to change the tire they say suppose i am using daily 200 to 300 kilometers daily so shayad one year may two years may may shayad the tire change karna we need to change the tire no there is a uh, uh, that indicator so how much the depth is there in general it is 1.6 mm depth otherwise you take one one rupee coin on one rupee coin there is a one diamond point there. suppose the diamond mark is visible that means you need to change the tire that means there is a skidding will happen i'll show you the skidding how the skidding will happen and right side you can see the manufacturing date 0308 the the red two arrows if you see First two digit represent week and the second two digit represent year and we have 52 weeks. So 0308 means on third week of 2008, this tire got manufactured. Suppose 4919, okay. 49th week in 2019, this tire got manufactured. So in this way, this is the date uh, you can find only at a four uh, digit. Then again, you can you saw the arrow. Uh, have you observed? Okay, I'll show with my cursor. Okay, here, here you can see. Ah, with my cursor you can see one arrow. One arrow is visible. So this arrow should be on. This arrow should be on the direction of your drive. So once when the incident happened, once we are doing the crash investigation, then we observed why the. Uh, uh, what are the actual cause for the incident? Then we saw the arrow is on the opposite direction of the flow of the drive. It should be on the direction of the uh, drive. And anyway, that mechanism, and, but again, better to have a recheck because uh, now not like a olden days, very professionally they are doing it. Now all uh, shortcut measures they are using better to the door. The threats also given in such a way so that when you're moving and uh, splashing, uh, takes place so that your your grip between the tire and mother earth is completely in a perfect condition. Now at below you can see the three pictures. So when you are driving in a rainy season, when we drive on a rainy season, the tire and mother earth, the grip will start decreasing. Reason being one thin film layer of water entering between tire and mother earth. So what it will do, your vehicle is get lifted off. When your vehicle is lifted off, naturally the skidding will take place. The, then there is no traction. The traction is lost. So again, then again, the chances for skidding is there. So what are the best remedy? So that is called hydro planning and aqua planning. I'll show in that one, uh, in hydro planning, aqua planning. So reduce your speed, ensure your tire and the mother earth, the grip is uh, imperfect so that you can, agar grip chala gaya, uh, skidding on a chances reta hai. So accelerator chordi je up as a unboki je ki mera uh, jo tire hai, road to grip pakarta hai or to skidding avatar sector. Just release the accelerator and right and uh, okay. The next part preparation preparing for a monsoon. When we prepare for a monsoon, specially right, okay, one minute pedals and uh, you can see the mat the floor mat sometimes you have seen number of videos i'm just a revision uh, doing a revision for you already in whatsapp we forward many things uh, so uh, so here uh, there is a again the mat may obstruct the pedals abc this pedals and again the lightning system is very essential so that you can see the right side so that i'm more visible the headlight here uh, i'm showing here in my this thing so high beam low beam people are unable to understand why high beam low beam because we are measured with the rain and the night also you keep in a there are three positions in headlight one two three you keep in one position so that you are visible the concept here in the sense you should be visible 
and you should not hamper the other traffic also other road is there again you will become blind if we are on high beam not necessary it's in a low beam in foggy weather also even here also low beam because a small water vapor it will act like a mirror in high beam if you are it will get reflected so keep in a low beam then again the wiper we have discussed completely wiper is the again most uh, uh, to maintain the temperature inside and outside the wiper will work out how it will work out next slides we'll see the uh, bottom right side photo you can see there is a beading right in, in case if it is loose sometimes what happened it is uh, the beading is lost and sometimes uh, there is a break or something so water will enter and the wiring system will be there stereo system wiring system and then again rust formation will be there ensure your beading is perfect and properly intact right then now water log area why i said all type food items also better to keep and uh, also your fuel tank should not be below always fill up your tank uh, not full tank at least small gap especially during uh, uh, summer season we need to keep a gap because uh, again for vaporization water some certain gap has to be there okay now in this way in uh, you remember uh, 26th of july in 2005 one incident happened in mumbai the vehicles the traffic completely got struck up onto the road they were hours together so likewise in gurgaon also absorbed for 12 hours they were on roads literally i was going to uh, last year i went to uh, this side uh, okay sikkim side and uh, not to north sikkim and there is a landslide happened i was having only one water bottle right and for 5 hours and the two lunch time before pre lunch the incident happened 5 6 hours we struck up and we could not get up. so that's the reason in case of emergency better to keep certain uh, like kaju kismis something dry fruits and biscuits chocolates certain things in a stock and water also you can keep some now available cans are available foldable cans are available better to keep so that in case of emergency so this way the incident happened in uh, 2005 in mumbai right then how to drive different type of uh, road uh, uh, surfaces are there and uh, maybe because you know different type of road we have earthen roads are there bt roads are there concrete roads are there then again there is a pothole gravel road different different roads so concrete roads are very slippery comparing to the bt road bt road right bt road is better actually i don't know why everywhere they are started doing concrete roads really I, i don't agree with the concrete roads okay concrete road maybe one time investment they are planning but the main problem starts when they start digging up we don't have uh, in cities they don't have any proper plans simply they will put concrete roads and again they will start digging in then it will be a very horrible situation okay anyway that's a different part uh so it's a slippery and especially on bridges flyovers rainy season very 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 and you need to that remember the traction remember the uh, the grip between tire and mother until whatever you are driving on normal condition normal day time it's entirely different during rain time okay now the skidding now here potholes so potholes naturally people will go in haphazard way here i saw recently uh, people are going in a haphazard way and here this person is trying to take can't we follow with a following distance and maintain distance this is the traffic distancing we need to do even during this time because is not going in a haphazard way reason being because of infrastructure just know someone gentleman he told about the infrastructure understand the infrastructure so driving the defensive driving will come when you start observing the road environment you study the road environment that's it i'm not uh, because people are masters in driving two wheeler four wheeler whatever it is you study the environment and pedestrians i request here pedestrians never stand underneath the tree right especially old tree we don't know we can stand again electrical poles and not to touch electrical poles these are the number of uh, i'm not showing the videos because already you saw in certain whatsapps so not to hold because again electrical that's why uh, the reason when rain start they'll take out the elect uh, electricity okay 
Now, during rainy season again, the thin film layer I told between tire and motherer, then it is called hydro planning, aqua planning. Now your vehicle got lifted up. When your vehicle is get lifted up, the skidding will happen. So how to overcome this type of skidding? Observe the video. Okay, someone else. So this type of skiddings happen even uh, when, that's why we need to drive on middle of the road and wherever possible. If you are going towards edges or the circles edges or near curb of the road, footpath side, naturally the road, there will be a splashing will take place, water accumulated. And if you are speeding and steering control, I'm sorry to say, again, people are steering control are not perfect or uh, riding also, they are very casual. Because you are holding this one, the total vehicle is controlled. If you see at my rear, if in case this is, you control the steering, then you, your total equipment, your grip and your handle and whatever your two-wheeler or a four-wheeler grip has to be perfect. So once we are perfect, vehicle is perfect, then you can use the environment. Vehicle not maintained and we are very casual, 100%, no doubt, incidents will happen, right? So here the aqua planning and hydro planning, what the best remedy in the sense, you can, uh, first of all, uh, release accelerator, ensure the grip between tire and mother earth is gained, right? Then again, pumping brake or likewise we can do uh, at later stage when you feel the grip is there, right? Next, uh, then again, watch out for oil spillages and potholes. Oil spillages, especially again, I said when oil spillage and again, slightly drizzling or again, skidding. One vehicle is skidded off and slowly. At least with the visual, we can observe about the road condition, whether it is dry, even the, even in summers, what we do, when uh, I can see, sometimes potholes are not visible, but due to the shade, complete shade, so your visibility has to be perfect and uh, uh, the, the, anyway, the surface is changing, the shining surface, naturally oil or something is there. Then again, have it uh, not to drive on a painted marker. So if you're driving on a painted marker, like you have, you can see in my chart, there is a painted mark. So uh, especially during rainy season, the skidding, uh, people two-wheeler, because it's a non-balancing vehicle car is a balancing vehicle. So try to avoid that one. And uh, there are water log areas, there is, uh, so drive in low gear. Coming out of water log area, can anyone explain uh, what is the best part we can do? Others, I know experts, they can tell. Others, new people, I request uh, they can answer. You're going in a water log area, you're coming out of water log area. Can anyone explain how to go in a water log area at least? How to travel in a water log area? If there is a water log area, everything is there. Right? Can anyone unmute and answer? Okay, uh, I can see. Bus uh, do traffic job. Okay, this question we will see later on. Okay. Now, moving forward, then uh, see and to be seen. Now, you have seen the first case study, which I have shown uh, a couple were going in a two wheeler and the bus was coming, same pattern we can observe this day. So bus is moving here, you can see the person coming up. Anyone? Anything? Okay, mute sir. So here, this is a waterlog area and bus is moving. So in India, steering is on right side. Please observe, steering is on right side. So two things we need to learn, see and to be seen, we dekna bhi hai, dikna bhi hai. When we are not seen by others, please don't do that one. So here still small spaces there is trying to enter, otherwise because, and you see what type of vehicles around you, your speed, vehicle dynamic, the size of the vehicle, whether I can do or not, whether I can move cross before the bus or shall I move it to the bus. 
ultimate leases who is a sufferer the smaller vehicle the smaller vehicle or a smaller road user is always a sufferer because of the safety gadgets are more into the the large or more vehicle means the safety gadget will be there right also this video video is on so during rainy season you need not to worry government will give you underground parking free parking right later on you can take our vehicle so portals are there i don't know even our okay i came to office near my home morning only i have started then during office hours bsnl people or some uh, telephone people they came started digging the rain started which i don't know because i was in office then again when rain started they left it as it is okay when i am returning back then the morning the road which i saw evening is not in that pattern so there is no guarantee even your own road is also danger near to your own road in the sense public road near your places so what to do on a water log area blindly please don't cross ensure one vehicle is moving ek gaadi ko jaane ke liye de dijiye girega to girega mal nahi so blindly not to go some people the car they follow the car the car will go and this fellow will come in between so ensure the tires are touching that means the road is clear and when more water log area please don't go in a water log area keep in first gear two wheeler and car more traction is required then accelerator not to release not to press just to hold the accelerator and coming out of water log area it to chudu out coming out of water log area what is the best part you need to do pump the brake reason being the water is accumulated between brake shoe and brake gum other shoe brake and disc brake then if you are pumping the brake then again the squeezing then again then you will have a correct braking first and foremost thing whenever you are coming when i was giving training some person he said sir uh, it got rusted up and i i could not get proper braking coming out of water area first and foremost thing pump the brake just stop your vehicle pump the brake even hand brake also come two three times you do it right now. then again the next uh, we can see here this is the water log area we don't know because what happens sometimes manhole also they open one husband was they were traveling during rainy season his vehicle got scooter got struck up he told his wife to just to get down so that i'll push my vehicle towards the road edge when she got down and there was a manhole she literally entered into the manhole and her, they they could return the her body on the next uh, after some one two hours they found her and she is died on the spot so we don't know where beside just you are passing near to the manhole whatever it is so very careful your rainy season and especially water log area and uh, better pedestrians and people not to come out of the vehicle then is a flood gauge you know there is a causeway flood gauge the water is accumulated kabhi baad na bolte hain isko jab bhi pani kitna tak behta hai kaun sa gaadi ja sakta hai ye sab rehta hai so blood gauge it ensures that you can see there is a white color red color black color example i am telling so the water level is up to the white color that means cheap car can go that means this vehicles can go and if it is more that one buses and trucks can go if it is more military vehicles can go so we need to understand the level of your vehicle and how much my because the height the ground clearance of your vehicle to the road that is which it is important now let's see the videos let's see the video they are safe now let's see what happens in this second video one bus and one car is traveling why the incident happened let's observe <laughs> Hey, 
आड़े मोह भी पुनील आड़े आड़े आड़ दांपत्य कुंटा तेरा बोलो आड़ मत बोला वो देंगे ले देंगे ले देंगे ले 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 जिम करने दान को जिम करने दान 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 जिम Last two this right. So ultimately, uh, why this incident happened? The bus is following the uh, car is followed by the bus. Okay, first of us, then again car. Now you can see the height difference will be there. That's why the flood gauge, whatever the part of the job is, uska kam karta hai. So we need to understand. Mera level kitna hai? Bus chala gaya? Main bhi chala jaunga? I'm sorry to say, even two wheeler they go this way. They go this way. people they want to show their heroism in uh, because uh, everyone they are observing cameras are there i'll show so uh, not to play with the water fire and all these things very dangerous nature we cannot go against the nature understand the road environment that's why i said please understand the road environment if you are clear about the road environment then we can be perfect and again four indicators not to use uh hazard lights or parking light is not a moving light or a street going light it's a internationally everyone even foggy people are using it that is not and you can use your indicators wherever possible whether you are moving in case if it is more uh, visibility is not there please stop your vehicle and again and put hazard light or a parking light right then again two wheelers two wheelers ensure Yeah, this is clear, and you can change like uh, five years. We are changing. This also maybe one year, two years. You need to change because again there may be a scratcher. Some the clear visibility has to be there, and uh, you need to have wind shutter. You can see that one. You can read that one. Ensure you are carrying all type of uh, even small smooth cloth, and again your uh, headlights are working. Even stop light, stop light. The red color has to be there. The glass, if it is not, otherwise they'll think it's like a headlight. So you have good reflective tips, and always have a bright color. Always have a bright color. Clear? Then, again, following distance. The main important here again the following distance you need to keep a cap, because one second the reaction distance and plus braking distance is equal to our stopping distance. When my reaction will start when I saw the light, this will inform. See my reaction, a human reaction. Saw the light, and this will inform. And this is the, your reaction time. Oh, this is a brake light, red color, and you apply brake. Till then, your vehicle is moving. When you apply brake, then your vehicle action will start. That is the master cylinder. The brake fluid will travel to all the wheel cylinders. Then again, your tires are good condition. Then it will stop in one second. That's why one second, one second. We say literally, you can keep in three second. In case rainy season or a foggy weather or a tire condition is not good. so you need to keep a distances more there is a way, big formula in this short time i cannot say okay please keep a distance the seconds counting is 1001 1002 1003 1, in this way we need to do then again high beam never do never disturb again low beam avoid driving near to this splashing area that is a edge of the road and water log area we have discussed how to go in a water log area now coming to the fogging the temperature between outside and inside has to be maintained now what happens when there is a uh, rainy literally will stop windows are rolled up and again there is a uh, fogging will take place then again moisture is formed so that time what we need to do keep you can see here my cursor i am showing here front and rear that design you keep in that position that old cars old vehicle sampling ac is on uh, focusing towards the um, windscreen then again wiper then the temperature you can understand the temperature has to maintain inside and outside then visibility has will be there now new car we have defogging methodology buttons are there systems are there last two videos observe then we are closing uh, this video also reaction time and speed are key for survival 
A sinking car will not immediately submerge, which means there's a small window of opportunity to act. Don't try to open the door. Water pressure makes this extremely difficult to do. And even if you could open the door, this would allow for even more water to come in and make your car sink faster. Instead, quickly roll down your side window, unbuckle yourself, and climb out. If you were too slow to react, the water pressure could pin your doors and windows shut. That means you'll have to break a window. Don't try the car's front windshield, as it's built to resist impacts. Instead, go for the side windows. Use your foot to kick at the top of the window, or remove the headrest from your seat and jam it where the window meets the door. You can also use a glass breaking tool like Rescue Me to quickly break the window. It can easily be stored in a glove compartment or on your keychain. And if the car is upside down and your seatbelt is locking you in, the tool can even cut you free. After breaking the window, immediately take a deep breath of air and swim out through the rushing so water. When our car is getting into submerged into the water, now we have missed out. So at that time, please remove your seatbelt. Otherwise, there is a seatbelt cutter you can see here. So this is a seatbelt cutter before your vehicle is getting submerged, right? And window, please break at the corner you have seen and you need to come out and where the bubbles are moving, it will show the way to come come out. Now let's uh, have a 360 degrees observation. We are inside the car. How best way we can come out? This is the last video of the session. Just the end of this slide. Observe here carefully. Let's experience a car becoming submerged on a flooded road. The car is driven towards the pool. Buoyancy causes the car to float. As the car floats, steering and braking control is lost. The car tilts nose down due to the engine weight. Water pressure is so strong, even an adult male cannot open the door. About two minutes have passed after entering the water. Looking down shows water has seeped in through the gaps in the car body. Five minutes after entering, a lot of water is now inside the car. Use an escape tool to break the window and get out. Be sure to un- amount of water rushes in. Um, and keep working. No, she's still inside the car. The driver exits safely through the broken window. Be sure to avoid driving onto a flooded road. Right. Finally, I thank here and try to keep uh, your speed limit uh, uh, below 30. Low speed, try to drive low speed, especially when you mix up with uh, non-motorized people or whatever during rainy season. And uh, finally, conclusion is uh, your maintenance of the vehicle is, has to be there. And uh, please try to use the equipment in a good environment and how best way we can save. And you cannot expect a good infrastructure. That is uh, uh, so. Okay, take care. And uh, I end my session here uh, open for questions. I'm sharing my screen. Hope you all learned. Thank, you sir. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir, for such a wonderful and very insightful session. Now I have a couple of questions for you. Then we will take few questions from chat box. Too. Okay. So the first question is how the construction of road or its mapping be carried out so as to reduce the rate of accidents during rainfall. Pardon, once again. Sir, how the construction of road or its mapping be carried out so to reduce the rate of accidents during rainfall. 
<laughs> then again, uh, we need to see where the black spots are there. Then again, it's a road safety audit has to be done, depend upon different type of uh, uh, maybe bend or intersection that we need to see. But ultimately, what, uh, the visibility, the more junctions are visible, the less. Uh, and uh, again, approaching junction, we need to have certain speed coming measures. That is the best way. One is the speed coming measures, one is the visibility and the user friendly, like uh, non motorized people. It's a huge so, subject again. That's right. Yes, sir. So, sir, since we are moving towards using electric vehicles more and more, so yeah. how safe is it to use electric vehicles during monsoon season? Very good question. Even it's a challenging, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Literally, uh, again, looking into the monsoon season also, now manufacturers may be doing uh, like what we faced earlier, uh, some uh, seven, eight years back. I used to have electric two wheeler. During monsoon season, I am unable to use that one. And uh, it is a begin of uh, electrical, again, a re-begin, I can say, from the history after 10, 100 years, a re-begin of electric. Uh, uh, now, I think new technology will be in a such a way so that uh, uh, they look into it and uh, uh, the gap will be, they need to see the uh, ground clearance gap accordingly if it is. I don't think the waterlog area will be, again, danger. Waterlog area, I think the other experts, they can answer to that one. Okay, sir. Um, so moving on to the next question. Uh, till when do you believe we would be able to achieve Vision Zero irrespective of any other factors in India? Pardon, pardon? Uh, sir, till when do you believe we would be able to achieve Vision Zero irrespective of any other factors of in India? Oh my God. <laughs> Vision Zero, not possible. Vision Zero, not possible. The main concept is we need to reduce. It takes a lot much of time. Because uh, we need to go in two factor. One is the short term and long term. Long term in the sense uh, from schooling itself, uh, again, giving training and this thing. Now, already those are on road. It's a, So the main concept is reduce the severity and fatality. Right? That accidents, we can't make a zero. It's a stories only, frankly speaking. And severity, that's why, why people are concentrating on helmets. Rebuild. In case incident happened also, people has to safeguard. Why these rail guards are there? Why these all things are measures are taking place? So uh, rather than zero, let us try to reduce the severity and fatality. Okay, I too like the zero, but uh, uh, to be frank, uh, not possible. Yes, sir. I think only possibility is severity, yeah. fatality. Yes, sir. So moving on to the questions from our participants. Uh, the first question is: What precaution to be taken in case of lightning? By Tara Chand Saran. What is the question? What precautions to be taken in case of lightning? In case of lights, light, 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 it's a lightning. Uh, lightning. A yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. In case of lightning or a rainy season, sometimes so when uh, when you are stuck up in a vehicle, and okay, I have not covered that one. Electrical, uh, uh, okay, lightning, uh, even whilst they fall, you should not come out uh, here. I want to cover that one. So everything will take place again, the people. So we need to jump certain things, certain area. And uh, there are uh, YouTube videos are available if you want in a deep. And when wires are there, please not to touch and again, getting out of the vehicle. That is one thing. Lightning, naturally, you need to take out all. Uh, and now I don't know, electrical systems are there, electrical, electronic vehicles. Now we say remove the fridge plug and everything. Vehicle, how it happens uh, we need to check that one yes sir. Uh, so sir the next question is uh, it is asked by Gauranga Chandra uh, it's the question is whether anti-skid tires really help in preventing skidding or it is just a marketing gimmick sir really what I mean to say whatever technology vehicles even TCS, ABS, ESP, anti-skid whatever but again he has to be uh, at par with the skill upgradation, how best way you can use, but certainly comparing to the other part, like normal bake, ABS, or anti skid certainly it will help out. Uh, so small example I'll tell, suppose uh, your airbag is there, and we drive same way, the technology is given in case of emergency, and you're driving in this way, airbag is coming, right? So we are unable to follow the technology, upgrading our skills, so whatever, uh, ESP or whatever your anti-skid or this thing, 
so how to utilize in case of emergency or in case that if he is practicing then it will work out otherwise uh, again the same story okay sir but very so good questions I, i even learning for me some questions sir. right <laughs> yes, okay sir. so moving on to the last question of the day uh, it's asked by krishna murthy if someone is stuck under a tree during a traffic jam or during monsoon if lightning occurs so how come uh, someone overcome that problem? right sir very we have seen uh, sir also no anyway under the tree and umbrella lightning means naturally uh, so my recommendation uh, better avoid uh, standing in a tree or electrical pole uh, check even construction uh, like a metro or bridges also construction all also because naturally because of uh, rain uh, the ground level or the it will be loosened uh so i want recommend uh, standing near to the uh, trees or this thing i want that one okay sir so moving towards the end of the webinar so i would like to thank virendra samineni for sharing his views on such an important issue it was truly a wonderful and very insightful session i hope the audience found this webinar quite beneficial as well at last i would like to conclude today's session by thanking all the participants for their presence and we hope to see you again in the next installment in our quest to make the roads safer for each and every citizen in india thank you all of you thanks sir thank you right thanks ayurav okay hi dinendra right. thank, thank you. you right right thanks everyone jai hind